Explain the essence of what you are learning. These things are to reinforce your strategy or whatever you are trading. And then to help you to manage your trade. It's good. It's good that you know them. Anything that traders all over the world are looking at is important. Whatever it is that if I am looking at this, you are looking at it. Out of people are looking at it. It's important. It makes it important. If this thing breaks out, go and look at it. Anytime it breaks out from this neckline, right? And then it starts to go up from this area, right? It starts to go up from this area. Whatever happens from here, whatever happens from here will be equal to the range here. Do you understand? Whatever happens here will be equal. So if we now measure it, what you see is that the length from here to here is the same. Mine is not correct, but you get what I'm saying, right? It's the same. Okay? Length here is the same. X, X is the same. Right? That's what happens here. So how do you how do you train this guy? You already know. This is where to enter. On the retest. That's where I like to enter. If I have missed that one, I wait for a retest. Don't 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 try to be smart. Don't try to trade on a resistance line, no matter the shape of the candle. What I'm saying again is this. See, this is look at what you are trying to do. See, this is where the price is. This is it an area where they say, okay, Coke is 200 naira, right? Coke is 200 naira. And, you know, if market gets to that point, you, and then you are trying to buy, no. Wait, wait for something to happen so that Coke can become scarce and then each bottle of Coke becomes 300 naira. Right? Wait. You can't buy here. If you wanted to buy, if that bought when it was 100 naira or 120, right? If you miss this, this is no way you buy because if this market doesn't take off, if it takes off, you're lucky. I, I can't find, I can't, it's possible for you to catch yourself on the wrong side. You know what I do? If I look at the trade, sometimes you, you think clearly, you know you always think clearly when you don't have a position on. Yeah. Yes. Yes, that's true. Yes. <laughs> yeah. You think clearly when you don't you, you, your trade is not yet moving. But once you have a position, you 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 are no longer your chair becomes hot. Your your hand starts to scratch you. You just want to do something. You are looking at five minutes, you are looking at daily, you are looking at H4, you are looking back. You are coming, and then, you know, and then, of course, the only thing that can stop you from all of this, like we always say, is your risk management. I can't, I can't stress that part enough. You know, that's the only thing that can save you. That's the only thing, right? Okay, guys. So, um, what I'm saying is, don't buy a resistance. If, if it's resistance, your $100 cannot make it to break. So wait for the big boys to tell you that, okay, we're ready to push this thing higher. Okay, so that's how to trade uh, this. You're going to see this a lot. And then you hear it a lot because being, uh, some of you are old traders, some of you are new traders. You see that uh, with time, uh, a lot of people are talking about all these things, head and shoulder. So when you hear head and shoulder, you know that this is head, right? It's obvious. This is the head, right? And then these are the shoulders. Am I right? Yes, right shoulder, left shoulder. Okay? Yes, inverted, of course. Right? Inverted. This is, this is a symmetric triangle. See that? Who can interpret it for us? As per pressure, momentum. Yes, try. Try. <laughs> explain. Explain the movement and then predict the breakout. Explain the movement and predict the breakout. Breakout is infinitely up. 
definitely is that what you said? Yeah. The momentum is pushing it up. There's an arrow there, you know, but it's not definite. Well, yes, let me hear you. Okay. Um, the bulls are pushing it up mm-hmm. because it's a symmetric triangle. Mm-hmm. The bears are trying to force it down mm-hmm. back to the position. So yes. it goes the next when it gets to the support again, they will try to push it to the trend line support again. Mm-hmm. They try to push it. The person with the highest power at the end of the day wins. See, the person with the highest power wins, meaning that this thing can come out anywhere. It can come out anywhere. On the on the one we have it is it, the is the um the uh, what's it called the the booze one here, right? Booze one. But do you know that both of them have equal strength in this triangle? Both of them have equal strength. Yes, there is an initial leg that came out here. Okay, this guy pushed down. This guy pushed. This one wasn't able to beat, right? This one came I wasn't able to beat also. Yeah. <laughs> if this thing had happened maybe twice or three times more, if this didn't go as high as this. This one also didn't go. Both of them have equal strength. The only time you can tell me, okay, it's going to definitely break out to one side is that maybe he's maintaining a, a line here and then this is ascending. We know that it's just going to sweep out. Like the pressure on the upside is on the downside is too much. So he's, he's pushing it. Uh, the other one we saw up there, right? This one here. You see it. This is this is this one is equal on the upside, but on the downside you see that this is stronger. You you tell me this is definite. I will agree with you, right? I will agree with you. But when this guy is equally pushing it down. It's not definite. A symmetric triangle will break out on any side. When you see a symmetric triangle, you don't you don't even try to pick trades here, except you want to buy and sell with limit order. Because you don't know where it's going to break out. You get what I'm saying here? So you don't you don't you don't try to you don't try to say, okay, I want I want to buy uh, you know what I was saying now. That let's let's take a pullback, let's trade here and use an ATR. You don't. Because it will come and take that your ATR. See, see the way a lot of traders look at that thing. If if I have a triangle like this, these things don't mind the fact that they are like this one. They can be as big as the entire chart in your, your, your chart screen. It can be as little as a pennant. This is almost like a pennant. The difference is that a pennant has a, a strong push, right? And then it's, it's just a brief realization, like a flag. But when you talk of a triangle, triangle, this can be a whole push on its own. And then the market comes down a whole trend on its own. Another trend, on, if you look at GBP pairs, there are most on their weekly time frame, a lot of them have this symmetric triangle. Almost like the market is just going up, coming down, going up, coming down, you know, and then for years they are like that. Okay, and then we don't know where it's going to break out. Okay, so um, yeah, when this happens, not both of them have equal strength. And then we don't know where it's going to break out to. So if you're going to trade this at all, you have to wait for the breakout. Breakout of the line, this line. You want to see the market break out successfully. Okay, and then when the market breaks out, see what you do. If the market has broken out like this, there are two things you can do. Is either you wait to trade a pullback. Sometimes the pullback might not come as a complete pullback. The pullback can come as one of the other patterns that we have studied. Is that okay? Can have maybe a, a, a pennant that serves as a pullback, right? Just any form of consolidation. And then you are waiting for a confirmation here that the market is ready to push. Is that okay? And then you can trade this pennant. That's why I was when I was talking about pennant, I said you have to look at everything to the left. Can't just trade pen and just like that. What we are trading here is not directly dependent. It's the fact that this line is broken. And what has happened here? 
these guys have now been able to beat their previous team. Is that okay? These guys are unable to push it back. Right? They are unable to push it back. So what happens? We expect the market to fall because these guys have now won. If I, if, I, if I narrow this thing down, what I'm going to see here is an indecision candle to represent all of this. Indecision candle to represent all of this. And then this push here will be what? Is it not? Right? Is that not what it means? All this triangle here will be will, is range. Then when the breakout eventually happens, it shows that these guys have won. So, so he's ready to move. Okay. So I want I want those to we're going to look at the chart. This is um, very similar to um, head and shoulders, right? Head and shoulders actually. Okay, it's head and shoulders. Or oh, um, it's just called rounding bottoms. It's just a head and shoulder that, that is not having like head. Right? Instead of having a head, he's having um, a rounding bottom. It's not, it's like round instead of the head. Right? So they call it um, rounding bottom or you can have rounding top. So it's treated the same way. There are plenty on the charts, these guys. You see a market has broken the trend line, but it's still in a trading range or it's just moving gradually. It's not going out immediately. Okay, so you see that when you look at it and zoom out, you find out that it's having a rounding bottom. Okay, this is a continuation flag. I think I've said continuation flag a lot here. What was making this one sweet is that back it goes, it goes, it moves, and then it, it, it rests. It rests. It's a flag. It's better, it's better when the flag is like this. When the flag is like this, slanted down, the breakout happens to the other side, is it not? If it's like this, the breakout happens to that side. If, if this thing is like this, you, you hardly see a breakout to the downside again. Right?